Hello guys, I'm Reagan and as promised to you guys, I will be taking home this SUV, this crossover right here. This is the Ford Territory Titanium. We are going to have her for the weekend so I can give you a full-blown, in-depth driver's car review. Let's do this. I borrowed this tester unit from Ford Philippines through the help of Ford Alabang. So I'd like to extend a special shout out and thank you to our friends at Ford Philippines and most especially Ford Alabang for giving me this opportunity to do a full-blown in-depth driver's impression of the new Ford territory. So if you are in the area of uh, Ford Alabang and you need a Ford vehicle or you like this Ford territory, do head down here to their showroom and experience their wonderful service. Good morning guys, it's a nice Sunday morning now and I've had the car for a few days already so that gave me an opportunity to really know it very well and to have an in-depth driving impression of this car. So in, in today's portion of the video, I'm going to share with you like my uh, summary assessment of what this uh, Ford Territory was able to give me during the past few days that I've been driving it. I mean I've driven it all over the metro uh, from Alabang to Makati to Valenzuela, to Manila, to Marikina, even Cavite. So I could give you a more accurate assessment of what this car is all about. Now the first thing I notice about driving this Ford Territory is how low you sit on the driver's seat of this vehicle. It's probably the effect of the high belt line that this car has, or maybe I'm just a small guy, but yeah, it accentuates the fact that I am a small guy. And it gives me a feeling that, well, I'm sitting inside the seat rather than on the seat. Granted, it's a, you know, it's a quick fix with the power adjustable driver's seat that we have here, but yeah, that's the initial feeling that I got when I first drove this vehicle. The seats are comfortable though, and uh, I like the fact that it has a heated and cooled uh, feature. I always use that uh, cooling feature in the past few days I've been driving it, so that should keep its um, passengers or driver from uh, perspiring. Now I mentioned perspiring because as you know as they say, men sweat and women perspire. Now I mentioned women because it feels like the Ford territory is targeted squarely at the fairer sex. I have this theory going on in my mind right now. The way that this, um, that this territory is built is that it's built really more for the, for the ladies out there who are driving, the power women out there. That's, the, that's my uh, theory of this uh, baby because, well, in my showroom review, I told you that it doesn't really look like any of the Ford SUVs that you've got um, in the market. It's not macho, it's not big, it's not brawny, and it's got really nice, sexy um, body lines. So I really have a feeling that, well, Ford is targeting the lady drivers out there for this vehicle. Now, that is just a theory of mine. And it, it's in no way uh, mentioned to me by Ford. So that's just, that's just me after. One of the features of this territory that makes me think that it's really meant for lady drivers is the fact that the steering wheel is so light. I mean, this baby is light as a feather. I could really just uh, steer it even with a single finger of mine. Uh, I, would, I know for sure that my wife would love to drive this because of this uh, really light feel of the steering wheel and the overall body also feels quite light on its feet as well. Granted, um, since I'm more of a performance-oriented driver, I would rather have my uh, steering wheel um, feedback to have a little bit more heft to it, but you know, that's just me. I'm pretty sure that the majority of uh, drivers out there would prefer to have like a lighter steering wheel that the Ford Territory has. However, one of my pet peeves about uh, this car though is normally other um, steering wheels with an electric uh, power assisted wheel, once you build up some speed, the steering wheel would gain a little bit of heft, but that's not the case here in the Ford Territory. I've also driven this on the highway and at um, the speed limit, the steering wheel is still quite light to the touch. 
So you have to be quite careful when you put in your steering inputs into this vehicle, especially when you're driving at high speed. It gains a little bit of heft, but it's still not enough to make it uh, more, uh, more controllable, at least in my opinion. So that's a little bit of a pet peeve that I've had with this car when I'm driving it on freeway speeds. You, you just gotta be more careful with your steering inputs. See, while going through this curve, the steering wheel is so light. Yeah, it feels like it's Ford gave it the electric power assist system that's found in the Ford Expedition and they totally forgot that this is a much smaller crossover than that big brawny brute. <laughs> Now I mentioned in my showroom review of the Ford Territory that it's got a lot of safety features and that is actually quite true. It lives up to its nameplate as a Ford vehicle for having so many safety features. You've got your ABS with EBD, you've got your traction control, stability control, you've got you also have the Ford's uh, Copilot 360 or 360 Copilot. I really I really get those you know that thing mixed up a lot which comes with adaptive cruise control it also comes with um, emergency braking and it also comes with um, yeah with blind spot monitoring and all that now the sensors of this vehicle it would really um, alarm when especially when there's a lot of like um, scooters or other maybe Kamote riders out there who would come too close to your territory yeah, so it happens, but you could always turn it off with a press of a button right here in the center stack. Now I'll take you through a sports car row. This is a Sunday morning actually, so I'm going to give you some eye candy in this video, guys. We got a lot of nice looking sports cars here. This is normally the place I go to with my Miata whenever I want to do breakfast. So yeah, that's a little bit of eye candy for you guys. <laughs> Now I also mentioned in my showroom review that this uh, Ford Territory has a parallel and perpendicular park assist and it's a pretty nifty uh, feature and I got to test it out so apparently there is a bit of a process on how to activate that system so if you want to do parallel parking you got to press the um, park assist button once now, but before you do that you have to uh, use the turn signal to indicate which side of the territory you're looking for a parking slot. So once you've, uh, once you've decided, let's say the left side, you want to do a parallel parking, you press the park assist button once and it will start looking for a slot. If you want to do perpendicular parking, then press the park assist button twice and then it will know that you're, you're looking for a perpendicular parking slot. It's a pretty nifty system. I, I got a little bit too close to some of the other vehicles and the, some, sometimes the wall when I tried it out but yeah it is quite effective especially for people who are having a hard time uh, parking their vehicles. The good thing about this system though is uh, it's not like some of the other um, autonomous park assist that you don't really have any inputs on the foot pedals or even on the gear shifting. This uh, Ford system requires the drivers to, st to still follow the instruction and uh, put the territory in drive or in reverse and you're the one responsible for the um, gas and the brake input. So for me, that's a good thing because that will give you a little bit more control over this car. Because honestly, I don't really like uh, letting go of the control, especially when you're doing that kind of a parking maneuver in parallel or perpendicular parking. Granted, it's not really a system that I would be using personally because now, we don't really have any problems doing any parking maneuvers but for newbie drivers or for people who are really um, parking challenged it's a nice little system to have now the abundance of safety features that this Ford Territory has already tells me that it's an ideal vehicle for people with starting families I mean you you know for if you've got small kids or pretty much actually everyone Safety is actually one of the top priorities of any driver or car buyer 
And it's really good that uh, Ford equipped this territory with a lot of this idiot-proof safety features that, well, would give you a safer drive. The thing is, normally, in order for you to avail of these safety features, you really have to pony up a lot of money. And in the case of the local market, these um, safety features are normally found in vehicles above 2 million pesos. So the fact that uh, the Ford Territory has these features for less than 2 million, in fact, less than 1.5 million, that is really a huge uh, development for our local car market. <music> Now, as I mentioned, I've been driving this baby around for a few days all over the metro, so I got to really get a feel of the suspension tuning of it. And I could say that the territory is tuned more for comfort rather than performance. Ooh, now that's performance over there. Check that out, guys. GT3 RS. <laughs> cool car. Anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, the suspension is really tuned more towards comfort than being a canyon carving speed demon. That's for sure. And that's actually a good thing for a lot of people because when it comes to absorbing potholes and not so good roads, that's where the Ford Territory shines. I've driven this baby around in not so good roads. I've gone through some potholes as well. And yes, it maintained its composure. It felt so, so sublime, <laughs> so quiet and sublime inside. Yeah, so it may, it may have a little bit more body roll than, than you'd expect. But then, heck, this is a crossover. It's not a sports car, guys. <laughs> now, coupled with that really nice, comfortable, and soft suspension that the Ford Territory has, its NVH levels is also quite good. It's quite phenomenal, in fact. I couldn't really hear much from what's happening outside. It's really quiet and calm and comfortable here inside the cabin of the Territory. This should be really great if you have kids who like to sleep while you're going on a long drive, on a long journey. So that would mean you won't have to hear the question, are we there yet? So many times. <laughs> when it comes to acceleration though, there are some reviewers who got to test drive this baby and said that it has some CVT lag, it's not as quick, it's, some even would, would even say it's slow. I would beg to disagree with uh, these car reviewers. After driving this thing for a few days, yes, the power that's coming from that 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine that this territory has is perfect. Yes, there is some CVT lag at the start, but once you get over that CVT drone, that CVT lag, this territory would really shoot and accelerate like a bat out of hell, guys. I mean, when I went on, a, on the freeway, I had um, an instance there when I checked my speedometer and I was like over the speed limit already. I didn't even notice it. The NVH levels are so nice inside that you don't even feel like you're already at triple digit speeds. So yeah. Power-wise, you see that we're going on an incline right now. It's not having any issues. You also know if you watch my other videos, you know that I have a very steep parking ramp. It doesn't have issues with that as well. This baby has a very good CVT tuning. So even if I don't really like CVT transmissions too much, the Ford Territory CVT tuning is quite good. It's one of the better ones that you can find in the market. Now, there are some people who are also wondering if the climate control system, the air conditioning of this baby is cold. I would, I would tell you right now, it is cold. It is efficient. It's really cold. And uh, I didn't have any problems keeping the cabin cool. I have the panoramic sunroof open so that there's more light coming in while I'm shooting this video. And yeah, it is quite um, nice, cool, and comfy inside this cabin. One pet peeve though about this air conditioning system, this climate control system, is the fact that it doesn't have physical buttons. You do have a power on and off button and you have a uh, climate control auto button. So it should work for most people that they could just uh, turn it on and then put it on auto, you know, let the, let the system do the rest. But the thing is, you know, if you're the type who likes to fiddle around with that climate control setting and you just want it to be perfect, 
you're going to have a tough time because the only way you could make adjustments on your climate control system is through the um, infotainment system and it takes uh, a few steps to do that. Now, since we're talking about the infotainment system, guys, uh, there's also some reviewers who said that this is counterintuitive, that this is so hard to operate. Well, you really couldn't um, figure it out. You really wouldn't be able to figure it out if you're just with the car for a few minutes during a test drive. On the day that I got this Ford Territory tester unit, I had to spend like 20 minutes with this baby just learning this infotainment system. It's not like a drive and go type of uh, car. You really have to sit down with it and find out the quirks of this infotainment. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite easy to use. Granted, if you're a Tito of Manila, or let's say you're a Lolo of Manila, <laughs> grandfather of Manila or grandma, then you might have some issues with it because it is really such a technological, um, complicated piece of kit. <laughs> See, I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration of that acceleration. See? It accelerates really well. For a CVT, I mean, <laughs> it's one of the better CVTs out there. So yes, I will definitely refute a lot of car reviewers that are reviewing the Ford Territory that's saying that this car doesn't have what it takes to bring on the speed. Coming from somebody who loves to drive fast, this baby could deliver the goods. <laughs> and I'm not even on sport mode, guys. I'm not on sport mode. Once you put it on sport mode, it holds the revs much uh, higher and much longer. Yeah, and you'll hear a little bit of that um, engine drone because of the CVT. Now in my showroom review, I also mentioned that the, this baby has three um, themes for your uh, instrument gauges. There's a sport mode, sport theme, there's the fashion theme, and the classic theme. So on the first uh, couple of days I've had this, I've used the fashion theme and uh, it's okay. When I tried to use the sport theme, I, I had a hard time with it, guys. So I'm a sporty driver, but yeah, the sport theme doesn't really sit well with me because of that uh, circular silver things. It's kind of giving me a headache. I'm not used to seeing the tachometer in digital numerical format. I'd rather see it in a traditional tag. So right now, while I'm driving and shooting this video, I have the, I have the instrument gauge on, guess what? I have it on classic mode <laughs> all right see scooter turned on the sensor but anyway i have it on classic mode guys <laughs> yeah because i still would prefer to see the tachometer where it should be and the speedometer where it should be another another um commuter right <laughs> but anyway yeah so i guess that tells you guys one thing i'm one of the titos of manila that i keep on talking about <laughs> Now there's another feature of the territory that I love so much and I love how Ford tuned it in that way and that would be the auto hold brake feature. So most modern cars now have this uh, brake hold feature and it, it could uh, automatically hold it while you're on a stoplight or an intersection. The thing is other car makers when you're on that auto hold for you to start driving again you have to step on the brake pedal and then step on the, on the gas then you'd start moving. The way Ford executed it is you go into a auto brake hold and if you want to start moving again, just press on the gas pedal. You don't even have to, to uh, tap on the brake to start moving. And I love that because that eliminates uh, another extra step that you don't really need. I mean, yeah, I understand that it's a part of the safety program of some of the other manufacturers out there. But the fact that the territory also has emergency braking and a lot of these sensors all around the car, I guess Ford decided that they don't really need that extra step to tap the brake pedal to get your car moving again. So yes, guys, that is my in-depth, comprehensive driving impression of this territory. This baby really has the goods to bring on the power. You just have to get over that CVT uh, lag, initial C CVT lag that it has. In terms of uh, fuel economy, I've done around 8 kilometers per liter, but granted, I don't really have the lightest foot out there, so maybe this, um, this baby could deliver a little bit higher. And I've been driving around on the city only, I haven't gone out on the highway much. 
this tester unit also has around 500 kilometers on the mileage only so this thing might uh, open up a little bit more and have a more efficient fuel economy as the break-in process uh, gets done the good thing though is as i mentioned this baby is so light to drive it's so easy to drive actually and you got that really nice um cooled seats that i have on right now <laughs> yeah it's got a decent power if ever the the hubby needs to drive the car but it's really perfect and ideal for the ladies of the house this territory it's really a perfect car to drive for the women mainly owing to the fact that it has one of the lightest steering wheels that i've ever driven in all the cars i've reviewed if the ford everest is the quintessential daddy car then the ford territory is the mommy car its car-like driving feel and dynamic makes it such an easy crossover to drive around town now while some reviewers would say that this baby is down on power i beg to disagree with them because i find that the territory has more than enough power that it needs to go around town or even when you're climbing up steep inclines or even if you're fully loaded with passengers plus the fact that the territory has such a plush cabin with all of its soft touch materials and premium feeling switch gear well i wouldn't mind spending a lot of time in this baby especially when you're stuck in our world famous traffic jams the territory's feature set and its soft ride truly makes it the perfect mobile. the fact that it has a slightly over boosted steering wheel and its predictable driving performance means that my theory that maybe ford is targeting the lady drivers out there it may have a certain ring of truth to it anyway uh, ford has enough vehicles and it's stable to satisfy the macho men in the in the market so this time around it's the ladies territory baby once again, thank you guys for watching one of my car reviews. If you like this review, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I promise you guys, I'll make it worth your while if you subscribe to Reagan's Rides. I'm Reagan, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. So light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Wilcon and buy. Yeah, that is on an errand. I have to go to the hardware and buy some pipes.